Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as intersection of two sorted linked list. So I don't think there is a need of problem statement. It is self-explanatory. Now we are given two linked list and we need to find the intersection of it. So we can see two is an intersection, four is an intersection and 6 is an intersection. After all of this, the answer would be 2, 4 and 6. So the most simple answer is that what is an intersection? If we see something again, then there is intersection. So, if let's say, just take the example how this intuition is coming up. Let's say, I am looking for a friend to partner up in a college where I am new. I found a person named as let's say Ankit and I found that his traits is not matching up with mine and now I know so I would try to find another friend. But if I don't remember that Ankit is not compatible with me, I might get to Ankit again and again I might realize okay he is not compatible I should move to other person. So the only difference is that to avoid the intersection with Ankit again I need to remember that Ankit has different traits. So here also we need to remember so that we know that there is an intersection. Whenever we need to remember anything, we can say that we need to use hashing. The very first example is we can keep, we can hash all the values of the first linked list and we can start traversing on the second linked list. If any value is seen before that contributes to the intersection linked list. This is the easier example. But can you do it in just one traversal? Okay, like without any extra space. Can you directly build up the sorted one or not? Because in the first approach, we are hashing the values. But can you do this without hashing the values? Let's see this. So what we really can do is, we can have a pointer i, we can have a pointer j. Now i is not equal to j. Now to have an intersection, i should be equal to j. So I know that i is less than j because 1 is less than 2. So I can find a value 2 on the right hand side of a. So I would move forward the right hand side of i. Now i and j is equal to this. So we would have here, okay, this is fine. We have 2. Okay. Now, we can't write directly here too. So, let, we need to make up a new linked list. So, we would have a head and we would have a tail. Initially, both of them is pointing to something known as null. Okay. So, at this point, we found a match and this would be the contribution. So, we can say C head and tail. You are now equal to something known as 2. Okay, now head and tail both are pointing to 2. How do we know that we need to make this? Because at initially head and tail is null. So now after this, we now have an intersection. So we need to move forward. So to get the next intersection, we need to move forward i here and as well as j here. Now again, 3 is less than 4. So, to have a value like 4, we can move forward on the right side of the first linked list and we have 4 and we have now 4. So, at this point, head is pointing to something. So, we would say tail, your next, that is 2, 2's next is something known as 4 and now tail, can you move forward to the new data? So, I would say tail, this is you. Tail is 10. Now, head is equals to 2 and tail is equals to 4. Now, as this intersection is given, so we would say, can you move forward a little bit? Can you move forward j a little bit? At this point, i is again equal to j. So, I would say tail, that is 4. 4, your next is something known as 6. And now tail, can you move forward to your next element? 
Now tail would become this. That is tails. Next is six. So we would come here. After this, as intersection is again done, we would move forward i to this and j to this. J is still within the boundary, but we don't have anything to compare in i. So i is now pointing to null. So we should stop at that instance. So if any of i and j is pointing to null, we would stop at that instance, and that is done. So now we would initialize two pointers, head and tail, initially to null. And here we would have i and j so that we have a proper reference to this. Now, while i and j is not equal to null, while i is not equal to null, as well as j is not equal to null, because any of them becomes a null value, then there is no point. So we would first find the value of i's data. i's data is equals to i dash data. And j data is equals to j dash data. Okay. Now we would say if i data is less than j data, like i was the upper one, if 3 and 4, if something known as this condition is happening now, 1 and 2, so we need to move forward this i. So we would say move forward i. Okay. So i is equals to i's next okay else if the condition let, let's just have this else if the condition if i's data is less we would move forward i if j's data is less than i's data we would move forward j we would say j is equals to j's next okay else in other conditions either i would be less than j or j would be less than i in all other condition at this point i is equal to j i's data is equals to j's data so we would say if head is equals to equals to null if head is equal to equal to null then we would say head is equals to tail is equals to the very first data that is what new node okay new node with the data as how much i is data you can take either of the data else in all other condition this is important we would first say tails tail c tail your next is equal to new node of i's data and then tell can you move forward to the next tail is equals to tail dash next at the end this would be done and we would say this that return head but after doing this we need to move forward both the pointers so at this point we would say i is equals to i's dash next and j is equals to j dash next now let us just compare and see how many errors are we making seems correct so no error are being made and that is the solution so we are iterating on b each of the values exactly one so the time complexity is big of n and the space complexity is constant if we don't consider the return value because we are not using any auxiliary data structure to store the result. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.